want to know why you hired Shauna Thompson. No comment. Why don't you want to comment? Because I'm not going to be part of the youth circus. No comment. Somerville Police Chief Craig Wise wouldn't answer questions about Shauna Sheffield, formerly Thompson, or about the call for his resignation. I've already told you. I'm not going to be a part of everything else. So, good night. He left quickly after the city council meeting tonight, which brought protesters and sharp criticism. We don't believe that we would be safe here in our town. City council members could hear the chants outside as inside they took up the issue of Sheffield. Her now ex-husband, Terry Thompson, was convicted of murder in the choking death of John Hernandez outside of Denny's in 2017. Video showed Terry on top of Hernandez, Shauna, a Harris County Sheriff's deputy at the time, next to him. Last year, a murder charge was dropped against her for lack of evidence. Her attorney says an administrative judge found no misconduct and her peace officer license in Texas is current. Six months ago, she got a job as one of three Somerville officers, but when her past was revealed, she was let go. Tonight was about possibly bringing her back to a $15 an hour job. The chief has said no one wants. We will continue to go anywhere and everywhere because we don't feel like it's right or that anywhere or anyone is going to be safe as long as she's protected by a badge. Before the meeting, Hernandez's family stood with Somerville residents in opposition. She stood there and she did nothing. And then took their protest to the meeting walls. All members present voted against the measure to rehire. The mayor took the issue farther, calling for the city administrator and chief to resign by tomorrow morning. For them to, to not just bring this, this bad apple into our community in secret, but then to bring her back for a second round is just too much. As Hernandez's family celebrates a win tonight. Uh, we're really happy with the decision that they made. Um, and it shows us that there is still some justice that we can still look forward to. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.